Okay, so hello and welcome to video number seven. We're going to talk about outsourcing. So as you can imagine, creating a ring is very time consuming, especially depending on how big the ring is and how many rings there are and all of that. So it can go anywhere from a few hours to a few days to even a few weeks. And that's the reality of it is it takes hard work. But once it is set up and up and running, then you will begin to get better search engine ranking and you'll be able to get more exposure. So like I said, it can take a week or two for someone who's never done this before. In fact, if you outsource it, it's most likely going to take about a week for somebody who knows how to get things done because account creation takes a lot of time. And then connecting everything from the triggers to the if else statements and all of that. So what we found over the years is outsourcing is worth it. It's only about 50 to a hundred dollars. If your two weeks are worth more, obviously if you're struggling with money and time is of essence and you have a lot of time, then you can set these up yourself. But for the most part, we found that, you really need to focus on your business and on whatever you're promoting. So go ahead and outsource this and it'll be worth your while. So let's discuss where you should go to find someone and lucky for you. We've actually used several of these places. So we will show you particular vendors and freelancers that we have used so that you can simply just copy and paste. So what you want to do is you want to go to a specific website called legit.com with two eyes. So L E G I I T.com. And when you get to this page, you want to type in I F T T T up at the top in the search bar, click enter. And then you're going to see a bunch of freelancers that can provide this service. So as you can see here, it says, I will create an I F T T network and as you can see, there are like four different rings. So typically one ring will cost you about $50. So this guy here, his name is Gemini guy. We've actually used him before and gotten fairly good results. And what he'll do is all you have to do is give him the information for, like I said, the accounts and have the username and password. And what we usually do is we create a brand new email account. So it's nothing related to the, the old business accounts or anything like that. So it's a new email account, all the information on a spreadsheet, and then we send it over to him. He creates the accounts and then he logs into your IFTTT account, which you'll need an account for that as well. And then he'll set everything up. There's a lot of people that are doing this type of stuff. Some are doing like video embeds. And that's another thing with YouTube. One ranking factor is the more embeds, the better, but the more embeds that are done on a branded social property or a property that is actually related to your theme, that is actually better. The reason why is an embed is kind of considered a backlink to YouTube. So if we were to create a IFTT network that is specifically creating as many embeds in different social media properties that can help as well. So we can have a ring or several rings. And on top of that, we can have video embeds. Now, the nice thing about legit.com is it's really focused on a lot of online marketing, SEO and, and other different services like backlinks, PBN links and all of that. Uh, but what we found is you don't want to get too fancy. You want to start out slow and work your way up because if you start just throwing a bunch of backlinks or even video embeds right away, it doesn't look natural, right? If you release a piece of content, sometimes it can take a week or weeks until you start getting hundreds or even thousands of likes or engagement. So you don't want to throw thousands or even hundreds of thousands of backlinks right away, right? So that's not going to look natural. And going back to what we talked about earlier in the previous videos, does it look natural? If it doesn't look natural or doesn't seem natural, then that can be a problem. So legit.com is an awesome site to go to. 
And this guy right here, Gemini guy, like I said, is someone that we've used. Now, obviously you can go to these other people and look at the reviews and see if they have good reviews and see what other people are saying. So whether you created the ring yourself or you hired somebody to do it, testing is very, very important. In fact, we outsource most of our rings, but yet we still have to go back and test it out. A lot of times when these freelancers are in the mode, they'll test it out, but they're really relying on you to test it out because they can't upload a YouTube video to your YouTube channel unless they have access. And a lot of times we don't give them access for you know privacy and security reasons. So let's go ahead and discuss how to do that. So let's hop on back over to IFTTT and I'll show you how you need to test things out. Okay, so we're back at IFTTT and what I recommend that you do is you open up the Excel spreadsheet that the freelancer gives you or that you've created yourself. And on that Excel spreadsheet, it should have your username and password and all the links to all of the accounts that were created. So in that case, how do we test it out? Well, obviously we're gonna need to upload a video to YouTube now, I'm not going to do that now, but if you upload that, everything should work throughout the network. So the way you can test things out is simply by going to the websites that are in the Excel spreadsheet. So once you go there, if it has been posted, it works. If it's not, it's not working. If it's not working, then you'll need to kind of troubleshoot it. Either get the guy who created the ring to help you out or if you did it yourself, this is basically what you need to do. So you need to check through and figure out what's not working. So if we found that the YouTube video is not being posted to blogger.com, we need to figure out why. So we need to go to the applet. So this in case is the YouTube like to blogger. So it's a little bit different than the upload to YouTube channel. But if we click on that, you can see here that we have the applet that goes from YouTube like to blogger. So if we click on this here, you can actually get a better view of what's happening. So basically anytime a YouTube video is liked, we create a post on blogger, we put the title, we put all this. Now we need to figure out why. Usually a lot of times the reason why it's not posting is because it's not connected to the account. So you wanna make sure that it's actually connected. If it is connected, then sometimes you'll need to look at, for example, this. Is it posting the title and maybe not the video? Or is it not posting everything? If it's not posting everything, it usually means it's a connection issue. If it is posting like the title, but not the, the body or the YouTube, then maybe it's the embed code is incorrect. So you can check that. So really what it comes down to is just trial and error. But if you really outsource this, it's really going to be a lot easier. But that's what we found to be the case. And most of the time is that the services are not being connected. And I will say IFTTT sometimes it's can be hit or miss. And sometimes in that case, the services may or may not be working. And that's really reliant sometimes on the the YouTube channel, the social media platform, and all that. So hopefully those tips can help you along the way when it comes to testing.